A meteorologist Zach Hatcher, it was a little cold this morning, but still eight degrees from the record low of 33. It was 41 this morning here in Greenville with a high of only 50. That's pretty low for a high temperature this time of year even, but maybe we're going to get some warmer air in here. Actually, we will get some warmer air back in here, so that's some good news. And the uh, normal for this time of year, the normal high is 74. Greenwood did about the same. Uh, they got to about 51, just one degree above that, and the record low there would be 30, and they got to 42 this morning. So they weren't near it, but we might be close to a record low tomorrow morning as that colder air will be in place. You can see that purple moving in over Arkansas. That's a freeze warning, and we don't have that here yet, and I don't think that we'll get a freeze warning here, but we are getting close to that as it is moving very close to Ashley County in Arkansas. Clouds have been moving through today in the upper levels of the atmosphere. We're going to clear out tomorrow and get that sunshine back. We're going to keep it for most of the week. Temperatures right now cooling off pretty fast, already down to 43 in Cahoma County, 39 in Grenada, and 40 in Greenwood. Already need that coat in most areas of the Delta, and tomorrow morning it will be a little breezy around 7 a.m., 37 degrees. That's not going to feel very comfortable. Then we'll warm up to the low 60s by 5 p.m. You bring in that sunshine, and it might actually feel okay, given the wind will be out of the northwest with occasional gusts to 30 miles an hour. But the warmer air is coming back for Tuesday, and it should stick around for the rest of the week. Here's an upper-level look and a lower-level look. The upper-level stuff is this... Uh, these white lines here, that is a trough that's continuing to push that cold front off the coast. And then the surface pressures, that is the surface aspect of this map. 49 in Oklahoma City compared to 45 here. We're pretty moderate with these temperatures in the southeast United States. So here's where we're going with these temperatures, dropping down to 34 possibly here in Greenville tomorrow morning and maybe down to freezing in Memphis. Then we're going to not see much of a rise in temperature. But Tuesday is looking a lot better, and Wednesday is as well. On Tuesday morning, it looks like we'll be down to the low 40s. And then look at that. We're getting back to the 70s on Tuesday. That's what I like to see on that temperature map. Look at this future cast. Shows a few clouds trying to move in tomorrow afternoon, but that rain is staying away. A dry state for us here for the next several days. Then we start to see that flow coming back out of the Gulf of Mexico. Notice these red wind streams bringing in a little bit of the moisture. And there's going to be a cold front that swings through. It's not strong enough to even show up on the map, though, other than a few clouds moving in on Wednesday night. Some rain, maybe. Other, I don't think we'll get... I don't think we'll get more than a few sprinkles of rain with that cold front. It's going to be a drier front than usual. But our next storm chance is for next weekend, right? Who would have guessed that? Seems to rain every weekend. 40 degrees for tomorrow in Greenville, 35 for our low in Cleveland and in Greenwood, 36 in Clarksdale. Back to the mid to upper 50s in most of the area, maybe 61 in Greenwood. And the seven-day forecast is looking very nice overall. 56 for tomorrow, a little breezy, but then we bring back 76 degrees on Wednesday and Thursday with a 20% chance of rain with that cold front on Wednesday. The better chance of rain is going to be for Saturday night and maybe through most of Sunday, given a 50% chance for Sunday at least. All right. Well, thank you so much, Zach. When we come back,